The shirt's fallen off him, and it's torn. The sports team he's wearing no longer exists. His pants are two sizes too large, because that's what the clothes pantry insists. He doesn't have any spare underwear, and people act like this is something he chose. They look at him with such an inversion, and it's true, Sam just needs some clothes. It's hard to walk when your feet blister, so you're stuck to standing on the median. Your toes are curled up and your heels are cracked, so that those driving by think you're a comedian. They all tell you that you've no soul. You must have wasted it all on booze. It's pretty harsh to the pavement to melt the rubber. So you know the panhandler could use some shoes. They spent so much time out here yelling. They've forgotten to take care of where they're standing. A man that's tying a case points to their feet. And for them to stop this, he's demanding. The cue keeps going because they're not concerned. Neither bruises or cuts on large rocks have deterred them from their chosen mission. Case man thinks Q could use some socks. He's never put too much thought into it. Just something short and quick he could try on. Never a man of fashion or brand. To show off or spin this way would have done. His job just says try to look presentable. In this era, Jake hasn't even had a shoe shine. He buys a new pair of them every year. Honestly, everyone says Jake's clothes are fine. They all pass the sign at the Golden Store. It's a status symbol with rich people in line. Are you prepared to wait to blow money? While in the gutter, a man takes the moonshine. The employees don't make enough to spend. But everyone says the brand's just moves. The go-getting entrepreneur is at the dumpster, which is where the store is throwing away all the shoes. 